extremely wet, and no, I don't know why that is. Welcome to the stage, John. I chose that one over the uh, recorder cover of the Jurassic Park theme because it's slightly less annoying. <laughs> Seth, you getting this? I want my mom to see it. All right. So uh, I woke up the other day to the smell of corned beef. This is after Thanksgiving, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it already St. Patrick's Day? This is after St. Patrick's Day, by the way. I, I confuse them. The eating holidays, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, the day. The day you eat stuff, that's all it means to me. Um, so it's after St. Patrick's Day, right? It turns out my roommates are making corned beef with a crack of ten. Uh, I walk into class and I sit down, the girl next to me tells me that I smell like corned beef. So I lean over to the guy to my right and I'm like, hey, do I smell like, and then he, I don't even answer, I, I don't finish my question, he's just like, yep. <laughs> you smell like corned beef. So uh, class ends, I walk to this girl on the other side of class, I say, hey, be perfectly honest with me, what do I smell like? He's like, you know, I smell like that men's axe body spray. She's <laughs> like, oh, okay, phew, I was afraid you were going to tell me I smell like corned beef. She's like, well, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing the corned beef body spray, you know. St. Patrick's Day limited edition. <laughs> Can't wait till Easter so I can get some of that deodorant that smells like two month old hard boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ever just like carry a smell with you that like isn't your own? You just adopt it. I used to work in, in California because I lived in California and I had to pay rent. Anyone else from California? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I used to work in Oxnard. If anyone knows California, it's like LA, but worse. Um, if anyone's not from California, it's like LA. Uh, so I used to take the bus to work sometimes, and there would be like some crackhead on there who hasn't showered since 2009. And oddly enough, it didn't matter where he sat in the bus, his musk just occupied the entire space. Like, like pickling brown. And I'm the pickle. So, I go into work, smelling like a crackhead, and I have to keep six feet distance between everyone at my workplace, they don't think I'm a crackhead. And it didn't work. They still think I'm a crackhead. For other reasons. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of like when you get a sunburn and the sun is just like, hey, you want some heat? You want just your own patch of sun across the back of your neck? You can roast marshmallows on it. Yeah, I got, a, I got a sunburn earlier today. My firstborn son found my lighter and burned me. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I stole that joke, actually. It's not mine. Come on. I don't write jokes like that. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't have a son either. I burn myself. Just to see if I could feel pain. <laughs> you know, prior to moving to Rexburg, I had no idea you could start a successful business based on selling overpriced soda. Correction, multiple businesses based on selling overpriced soda. So we have so many of them. And I get the appeal. It's a great place for a first date. It's like, I'm willing to spend some money on you, but not a lot. Just like $3.86 and two punches on the punch card, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dinosaurs are weird. <laughs> dinosaurs are so weird, and no one talks about that except for four-year-olds. I don't know why guys will turn four and then base their ent entire personality around dinosaurs. First it's trucks, and then dinosaurs. Someone needs to explain the truck to dinosaur pipeline to me. Like, is, it, is it the petroleum? Like, do they, do, do boys just have oil in their dinosaurs? Like, yeah. What makes a child be like, construction? <laughs> so anyway. You know, little kids get it. They're just like, wait. There used to be walking dragons just everywhere? Why don't we talk about that? <laughs> How weird is it that grass didn't exist at one point? 60 million years ago, there was no grass. It had to evolve. Dinosaurs existed before grass. Dinosaurs are older than grass. They didn't know about grass. Imagine if they did know about grass. They would just evolve to eat grass. They'd be cows. It'd be so boring. <laughs> so yeah, uh, dinosaurs are older than grass. Alligators are older than grass. It's kind of weird to think about. 
uh, your mom is older than grass. <laughs> 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 so, think about alligators. Uh, I'm convinced that alligators are God's favorite animal. 200 million years and they never bothered to evolve, not once. You know, and you can tell just by looking at them, <laughs> they're ugly. And also, like, if they lay on their back, I think, I think, where's Teo? Teo, I think, didn't you tell me if they lay on their back for like 15 seconds, they turn off? <laughs> the brain disconnects, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure scientists still can't explain exactly how the brain disconnects, but yeah, <laughs> they just never bothered to evolve. Um, <laughs> you know, God just made the alligator, and he's just like, it's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe Adam was like, are you sure about that, dude? It's got, like, teeth growing out of its teeth, and it ate my dog. He's like, shh. It's perfect. I think maybe he like next to the Garden of Eden, he put the Swamp of Eden specifically for the alligator. He's like, it's all yours, boy. You're free to do whatever you want. He's like, yes. I'm just gonna eat everything with no regard to the safety of others. <laughs> I love to ask an alligator about his thoughts on evolution. With his teeth sticking out. Maybe he has a Cajun accent. Like, we don't believe in no evolution down here in the swamp. No. God made us just the way he intended to. He's probably got like a trucker hat. Maybe his, his phone clips into his belt, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the default ringtone. I'm changing my ringtone. I'm keeping the same good ringtone that the good Lord don't put on my phone. <laughs> you know, people bring up the ethical concerns about bringing back the dinosaurs. Like, what if they eat us? I have a bigger question. What if we ate them? <laughs> Has anyone stopped to think about what dinosaur meat tastes like? Chicken, right? Because everything tastes like chicken. That's, you know, we're living in the Matrix, by the way. Um, but yeah, everyone knows the best part of the chicken is the thigh, am I right? Oh, the only yeah! Reason, right? Yeah. The only reason why anyone eats chicken breast is because God didn't make a four-legged chicken. And we've also failed to make a four-legged chicken well. I say we bring back Triceratops, and I present to you a giant four-legged chicken that also looks like a living weapon. <laughs> like one drumstick off a Triceratops could feed like a small village in Moldova. I'm like, what about their eggs? There's gotta be at least like an omelet. Or 12, I don't know. I feel like Jim Bros would never have to take pre-workout again. <laughs> you know what's great about eggs? You can put eggs on anything and turn it into a breakfast item. Eggs in a burrito, it's a breakfast burrito. Eggs on a hamburger, it's a breakfast burger. Uh, if you have like stale bread, you can just dunk it in egg guts and then fry it and you have French toast. But who are we kidding, this is America. We can eat whatever we want for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Steak, or how about the, the fattiest, greasiest part of the pig like fried in its own fat? You got it. Or what about um, 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 a literal cake that's been fried in butter and then soaked in sugar sauce. Oh. You get to eat that for breakfast. How awesome is that? <laughs> None of that tickets are fancy. You can just eat it like a, a straight up bowl of Oreos and milk. <laughs> or you can eat toast. Who came up with toast? Who was like, here's a very nice slice of freshly baked bread. Wonder what would happen if we cooked it again. <laughs> <laughs> You ever notice we have a lot of dentists here in Rexburg? There are a ton of them. There's like one on every street corner. There's like, like rock house dentistry, apple tree dentistry, uh, apple house rock tree dentistry. Um, and it's so weird. You, you wait in the lobby for like 45 minutes and then like the assistant gets you and cleans your teeth for another 45 minutes. And then the doctor walks in for like 30 seconds, puts on gloves, leaves. Flexes check. <laughs> <laughs> or either that, or like he puts like 85 different drills in your mouth, and then he asks you questions, he interrogates you with like living weapons inside of your mouth. <laughs> so, how was your day? Uh... <laughs> so, are you a student here? Uh... So, uh, Friedrich Nietzsche said that God is dead. What do you think he meant by that? <laughs> do you drink soda? I'm just kidding, that was a trick question. <laughs> soda shops, too. We have so many soda shops, right? And we also have so many dentists. <laughs> this goes deeper than I thought. Are the soda shops working for the dentists? 
Are the dentists working for the soda shops? <laughs> Are they both owned by the, science, the same giant mega corporation? <laughs> that's how you know we're living in the matrix. That's how, that's how I've got for you tonight.